Mario here, trying to show you how I start my case. Before I actually do the uh, arthroscopic procedure on the shoulder, I do what's called a suprascapular nerve block. And before I do the block, I uh, outline my anatomy. So here's the spine of the scapula, the lateral acromion, uh, the clavicle over here, uh, AC joint, AC joint right there, coracoid over there, okay? And then what I do is I kind of estimate, like, where is the glenohumeral joint? The glenohumeral joint is going to be pretty much about this level, okay? Which means the glenoid is about this level here. You can use the coracoid as a landmark. So what I've done is, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a suprascapular nerve block. place a 22 gauge needle straight down but slightly on an angle like this uh, about the level of the coracoid take it down and I and I will take it down until I hit fossa and that fossa is the, su is the supraspinatus fossa and that's where the suprascapular nerve lies on top of the bone so what I do is I aspirate and I inject and this is a suprascapular nerve block. Basically, the point pivot is tracking under the muscle belly along the bone, and that's where the suprascapular nerve travels under the spinal glenoid notch. And also, you get a nice little local block in this area. So I, I do this as well as I have my anesthesiologist provide a brachial plexus block, and that provides great pain control for these patients so that when they wake up, they're nice and comfortable. Super scapular nerve block, I'll post the uh, reference for it, okay? This is Dr. Moore showing you super scapular nerve block done just before entry into the shoulder.